You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. The Universal Peace Federation of Cambodia has told politicians and other third parties to maintain their dignity and values without exaggerating and distorting facts, using the reality of the Universal Peace Federation particularly to ensure ancestors would not be insulted. UPF Cambodia's statement comes after Sam Renzi posted on his Facebook page on Friday, 14th January, attacking the UPF and claiming that the founder, Sun Myung Moon, was an unusual person who pretended to be a god, was a cheater, and was imprisoned. In a press release issued on Sunday, 16th January, UPF Cambodia did not mention any names, but appeared to be responding to Sam Renzi by calling recent allegations made against the religious organization immoral and unprofessional. The UPF was established in 2005 by Sun Myung Moon and Hak Ja Han Moon. Sun Myung Moon passed away in 2012, and the UPF is currently led by American Thomas Walsh, headquartered in Washington, D.C. The UPF has the status of a consulting body with the United Nations, the United Nations Economic and Social Council, and has representative offices in more than 120 countries, including Cambodia. The UPF has stated that it works with leaders around the world who are willing to work together for peace for all mankind. The Federation is not a political party, but values the role of political leaders who have played a role in the complex world of governance and international relations. Former CNRP President Sam Renzi, who has been convicted by a Cambodian court with countless charges, is being questioned about the transparency of the CNRP TV fund, watch sales, other money laundering allegations, and accusations he has made. Kem Sokha's chief of staff, Mut Chanta, said late last year that Sam Renzi was suspected of embezzling nearly $1 million from the Priya Atit TV Fund, money for repatriation project on 9th November 2019, money for the second repatriation project on 4th May 2021, worth more than $500,000, more than $200,000 in watch sales, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in former CNRP money.